Hello everybody, this is Richard Sis, it is, and I want to talk about spirituality and uh, specific things that are very serious and about death, but death goes in hand in hand with spirituality and life, but I want to talk about specifically is suicide, suicides, and no one talks about it, no one talks a lot about it in um, our social life, no one talks about it in um, the medium life. The mediums that talk to spirits and, the, and uh, translate to the living and the dead relatives. No one talks about suicide. But the thing is, I want to talk about suicide. The thing is, though, is that we're in a game, okay? We're in a game. We're not going to be held accountable for any damn stuff that we do. We're not going to be held accountable for nothing. But for everything that you do, when you have your life review, you're going to have regrets for what you've done. If it's negative, if you hurt animals, if you punched your brother in the face, if you're a gang member, if you did drugs, if you shot somebody, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel all of that. And you're going to relive it when you're in your life review. But the thing is, though, is that everything is all on us. That's the thing, man. Is that no matter what you do to someone else, no matter how you feel or do or think, in this world you're living, it's all on you. So if you decide end your life and commit suicide the thing is though is it's going to be all on you now now the thing is though is that if you do to decide to commit suicide you're not going to be held accountable for nothing you're going to have no repercussions you're not going to go to hell there is no hell you're going to go straight to heaven straight to heaven not straight to hell straight to heaven you just need to open your mind when you're a spirit when you leave the body you need to open your mind and you need to speak and yell out to your relatives to come get you. You need to visualize the light. You need to see its opening in the fabric of space and time opening and bringing you. You need to beckon it, beckon the light to come get you, to take you up to heaven so you won't be wandering around lost, you know? And just just take it, man, just take the light. That's, that's the thing I have to say. The thing is though is that when you commit suicide, you're not gonna be held accountable for, for nothing. You know, the only thing is though, is that because we're in a game, you're in a game, yeah, a game has to have multiple people. So you're in a game, you're in a family, you're with your mother and father, you commit suicide, it's gonna hurt them. But they don't know that it's a game. They, they, they don't know that it's all one big old damn uh, rouge, you know, one big old damn thing that, that, that they themselves got themselves in. They got themselves in this stuff. They got themselves in the game. They made decisions. Be before you were born, they made decisions in their own lives to be, to be involved in this game. But the thing is though, is that in this game, is that, is that you're born with amnesia. Before, you're, you're a spirit, you're looking at the game as a spirit, your guides are there, they tell you what's going on, they tell you, hey, you're going to be this person, you're not going to have no memory of being, an, of, of being a powerful spirit, so you're going to be this, you're going to be a mundane, normal person, you're going to go through all these things, and it's, and it, and it's just to experience, and it's just, it's just to live it, and just, just do it, you're going to have some children, and, da, 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 da. and that's the game, but the thing is though, is that with suicide, is that when you commit suicide, you're going to regret not being able to achieve the things that you wanted to do. You can take your life at any time. You're not going to go to hell. You're not going to... Uh, 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 God is not going to punish you. He's not going to yell at you. He's not going to hurt you. The only person that's going to get hurt emotionally is you. What you've done to yourself. What you've done to yourself and what you could have done if you lived longer without taking your own life. When you see your life review, you're going to see all the things that you could have done and that you could have improved. But only when you're a spirit, when you're dead, when you're a spirit, will you know that, oh man, this was all just a damn game. I remember, I remember. Oh man. Some of them, it was all just a game and I forgot. And I forgot that all of them. Oh yes, I remember in the beginning. I agreed to it. I agreed to this game. Oh yes, 
because I could have been a singer, an actor. I could have been a, a, a you know, businessman. I could have been a politician. I could have had children and lived a normal, peaceful life. And oh no, that's the thing is that when you commit suicide, it's all gonna hit you. It's all gonna hit you. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be healthy. You're gonna feel good. You're gonna feel more better than you felt ever, ever, ever. You're gonna be basically when you're a spirit. You're, you're, you, you are your original self. That's in your spirit form, being dead. You are your original self. This is just a modified kind of alternate form of self, playful self thing. It's not the real self. Your original self is your dead self, your spirit self. That's your true original form forever. That's it. Being a spirit, being in heaven forever. You cannot die. That's the thing. You cannot die. You're, you're, you're eternal. And, and, and the thing is, though, that I want to get into is that we... Well, the, the, the thing is, though, is it's kind of a sad thing. We, we are playing ourselves, man. And this world, the spiritual realm, we are playing ourselves. We are in a in a big old hodgepodge. This is the big old damn complex thing, man. It's just a big old damn thick bundle of wires that just doesn't end, you know. And, and we're playing ourselves, you know. The thing is, though, is that this is the thing I want to describe to you: science and mathematics and technology. It may not even matter. It may not even matter that we're even. You know, trying to solve the Riemann hypothesis and E equals MC squared and having these equations, it, 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 it's, it, it probably not even won't even matter at the end of the day. Because the thing is, though, is that these scientists, these physicists are trying to figure out something that is more simplified and more straightforward. They're trying to figure out something that does not need to be figured out. And with all the studies, with all the science, it is all going to be for nothing. It's like a chimp trying to figure out how um, Hungry Hungry Hippos is about. He doesn't even know how, what the hell the game is about. He sees a little ball there. He sees the Hungry Hippos, the lion, and the balls, and the thing. He's trying to figure out the colors and the shapes. He's trying to figure out why when you press this, the hung Hippo comes out and drags back. And why there's so much, how many balls there is. And, over analyzing you know the dimensions of the board and trying to you know trying to understand something that's just straightforward it's more simple there, there is no point to over analyze anything and all the science and technology is all not worth a damn because the truth is is that the scientists being spirits as they are they're trying to over analyze something that they created themselves that they made themselves, all the spirits together, I believe we all created this living realm, this living world, this game. And they're trying to analyze something that is more simplified and more straightforward. They're trying to understand, and that's the thing, is that the game is about where the hell am I? What the hell is going on? You know, what the hell, you know, what what what, what is the meaning of life? And what it is, is that the meaning of life is understanding yourself that's the game that's the game understanding yourself that's how you become more powerful in psychokinesis in telekinesis and all the other uh, powers which is most of psychokinesis that is that's what life is about this whole thing is all just one balsa wood balsa wood structured game it's all just a big old hollow thing that's just like like um it's like uh like uh, like trying to like it's just like trying to throw the ball in the damn hole you know how hard is it you know on the fifth try you're gonna throw the ball in the damn hole you're gonna make it in so that that's what life is it's just a simple game that's straightforward and we as spirits we created this thing we created it we created this game and we'll and and the the when the living we're trying to figure out this thing that's going on what's going on trying to figure out the science and trying to figure out the mathematics and trying to particles and quantum mechanics and all stuff but 
what it is is that all that mathematics will be all understood when you die all of those technicalities all of the all of the rigid writing and all of the, the ugly equations and the huge ass mathematical problems when you die they all call collectively amount to just the consciousness of yourself they all become you the understanding of life the thing is though is that life isn't about the overanalyzing of the game that's the thing to understand to under, to, to understand who you are you have to die, die. That's the game, is that you have to truly understand that you have to die to understand what the hell is going on. But then when you die, you realize that you were in a game that was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. It was pretty enjoyable. You know, we got to sit around and eat, talk to friends, socialize, drink some beer, take a few turds in the toilet, you know, whiz in the toilet, you know, throw up a couple of times because you drank too much, have sex with a couple of people, experiment, watch some good movies, read some books, you know, that's what life is. That's all that this whole damn thing is. It's all just an experience. I don't even know. Life is more straightforward and more simple. When you're dead, the thing is though is that the meaning of life is, is that you are who you are. You are, you are alive when you're alive and you are alive when you're dead. And when you're dead, Whatever you think and feel is, is the thing. You see other spirits, you see other things, you're there. You're, <laughs> it's just, a, life is more straightforward and in the future, man, life is gonna get good. Life is gonna get good, it's gonna be good. It's not gonna be, you know, like we think that we're struggling now, but when you die, you're gonna be like that golden statue, a diamond statue that cannot be touched. Nobody can touch you. And you're gonna know it. You're gonna know you're powerful. And, and nobody can touch you, man. When you're dead, when you're a spirit, you're like a diamond, man. Everyone is like a diamond, a shining diamond that reflects, brightly reflects light. And you're like, you're infinite, man. You're powerful, man. You are powerful. Like right now, you are powerful. You are powerful. You are a god. But right now, you're just in the game. You, you made the decision to be here. It's your own fault. That's the thing. So if you decide to commit suicide or anything else, it's all going to be on you. You're going to have regrets. You're going to have regrets, but you're going to be okay. You weren't able to live the life of, of uh, John Williams, of, of uh, you know, age 22, 2016, or John Williams, 2017, January, February, 20th, you died, you committed suicide on February 20th. You're not gonna you're not gonna be that person no more, but you know what? You're gonna be okay, man. You're gonna be okay. It's all just a damn game. You're gonna have regrets, you're not gonna But you're you're always gonna be able to have an opportunity to be born again anyways, no matter what the hell. You know, with if you die naturally by accident or if you die die by suicide, you know what's gonna happen? You're gonna go straight up to heaven. And you know what, brother? You're gonna be laying on that hammock, that heavenly hammock, laying down on that hammock, watching the beautiful, sparkly, heavenly oceans, you know, talking to your friends and family from a hundred thousand million gazillion years ago, enjoying your life, man. You're gonna be okay, brother. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to worry about nothing. So whether you live or die, you're gonna be okay. But we all have to realize and it's all just a damn game. When you realize it's a game, everything's gonna be okay. Miss Richard says for this, you know, suicide, you think of it as something bad, but the thing is though, in reality, there really is no repercussion. I'm not trying to say that you should do it. I'm not trying to say that it should be done. Only because, this is the thing, I'm not gonna hold back. Only because the people that are living now, they, just don't, don't, they don't understand that they're in a the game. Right? In the future, we're gonna understand what it's a game. 
whatever you want to do, just do it. I'm not promoting anything, but you have the power. You are your own God. This is Ricky Cespedes. Thank you guys for watching. God bless.